In this lecture, we are going to discuss iterative method to solve a recurrence relations. So let me start with the problems. So solve the recurrence relation a n equal to minus of a n minus one, where a naught is equal to 5. So the first term of the recurrence relation is 5. Now we will write the solution of this recurrence relation. So how will you find the solution of this recurrence relation? So I will start with the recurrence relation and by which method I'm going to solve this by iterative method by iterative method so write the recurrence relation as it is a n e equal to minus of a n minus 1 which is equal to minus of now what is a n minus 1 if you look at a n equal to this what will be a n minus 1 if I replace n by n minus 1 what will happen to that recurrence relation a n minus 1 will be equal to minus of a n minus 2 so here I will write minus of a n minus 2 this minus and minus I will not write plus okay you have to be very careful when you're dealing with negative signs now minus and minus we will not write plus how will I write it as I will write it as minus one square a n minus two now what is a n minus two if I replace n by n minus two in the recurrence relation what will happen I will get a n minus 2 this is the recurrence relation okay replace n by n minus 2 so I'll get a n minus 2 will be equal to minus of a n minus 3 1 less this is n this is 1 less this is n minus 1 if this is n minus 2 what is the number before n minus 2 the number which comes before n minus 2 is n minus 3 correct so what will be a n minus 2 be replaced by so this will be minus 1 square multiplied by minus of a n minus 3 okay and this will be equal to how much this will be equal to minus 1 cube a n minus 3 and I will continue this process so if I go till the kth stage so at kth stage means after k step so this is the first step second step third step when I do this thing for k steps after k steps what will I get I'm going to get minus 1 raised to observe something in the above thing at the third step you get minus 1 raised to 3 a n minus 3 you get a 3 year and you get a 3 year at the third stage so at the kth stage stage what will I get I will get minus 1 raised to k into a n minus k so this is after after k steps so what was the left hand side who was the person sitting on the left hand side the person sitting on the left hand side was a n so let me write it a n is equal to this okay once i get this particular thing after k steps what i get now i will put k equal to n put k equal to n means k is having values what k has values 1 
k has this the above thing was for k equal to one this is for k equal to two this thing is for k equal to three right and what is the last value of k the last value of k is k equal to n okay so what will happen if k is equal to n now when k is equal to n this recurrence this equation will now become what a n is equal to minus 1 raised to n a 0 because k minus k n minus n will become a 0 and what is a 0 a 0 is given us to be how much we are given that in the problem that a 0 is 5 so this means that a n is equal to minus 1 raised to n into 5 okay is the solution of the recurrence relation what is the recurrence relation a n equal to a n minus 1 with a not equal to 5 this was the initial condition okay so this becomes the solution of this recurrence relation remember the solution is a n equal to something which depends on what it depends on n and what is the recurrence relation recurrence relation is something which a n is equal to on the right hand side you will have what on the right hand side you will have all the terms which depend on the previous terms so a n equal to a n minus one with the minus sign so this is the recurrence relation and this is the solution okay let me do one more problem now okay so solve the recurrence relation a n equal to a n minus 1 plus 3 where a naught is equal to 1 using iterative method So let me start the solution. So a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 3, which is equal to what is a n minus 1? Look at the recurrence relation and try to see what is a n minus 1. If I up replace n by n minus 1 in the above recurrence relation, what will be the value of a n minus 1 it will become a n minus 1 is equal to the previous term which is a n minus 2 right plus 3 the previous term which is this will be a n minus 2 plus 3 plus the original 3 is here as it is okay now when I do the next step, again remember in recurrence relation, you are not supposed to do additions as soon as you see some numbers. It will put you in problems. So this means I am going to write this as an minus 2 plus 3 plus 3. I am not going to write it as 6. If I write 6, I will be having some problems later. I mean I won't be able to guess the formula. That way I am not writing. So it is an minus 2 plus 3 is how many times 3 is 2 times now i will again replace what is a n minus 2 so if i replace the n by n minus 2 in the original recurrence relation the original recurrence relation will start looking like what a n minus 2 will be equal to how much a n minus 2 will be a n minus 3 plus 3 previous term plus 3 so i will write here I will write a n minus 3 plus 3 plus 3 times 3 has occurred 2 times. And when I open this, I will get a n minus 3. Now 3 has occurred how many times? 3 times. This is the third stage. Okay, your k is equal to how much? k is working as 3. Now when I go for the fourth stage, 
Similarly, without telling you now what is the middle step, what will be the fourth stage? Can we guess the formula? Yes, we can write a n minus four plus three will occur how many times now? Three will occur four times. Three plus three plus three plus three, four times. So at kth stage, what will happen at the kth stage? In mid, in between kth stage, I'm going to get a n minus k plus three is occurring how many times? k times but now this left hand side is a n that started with a n now i will put k equal to n why i'm going to put k equal to n because i want i have some information about a zero correct so how will i get a zero if i put k equal to n this will become what this will become zero so this means if i put k equal to n i'm going to get a n equal to a zero plus 3n because k is replaced by n but what is a naught a naught is uh, given by what a naught is 1 right a naught was given us to be equal to 1 so this means that a n is equal to 1 plus 3n this is a solution of the recurrence relation what was the recurrence relation? A n equal to A n minus 1 plus 3 with the initial condition A not equal to 1. Using which method? Using the iterative method.